Blocksroute Fast Protect takes just a few minutes to get set up. Go to blocksroute.com slash protect. There are four steps, creating a Blocksroute account, whitelisting our wallet addresses, adding a custom RPC to MetaMask, and loading funds into our account. Creating an account is as simple as providing your basic contact information, agreeing to the terms, and then you'll receive an email which you need to confirm in order to enable your account. Once you've confirmed the email, you'll log into your Blocksroute account and begin the process of whitelisting your wallet address. You can copy your addresses in MetaMask by clicking on the account ID and pasting it into the whitelist field. Now we'll set up a custom RPC so that we can route our transactions over the private Blocksroute network. Adding a new RPC address is like a website address for your wallet. Ethereum mainnet will still be available. Copy each of the specific elements into MetaMask. Next, you'll need to add funds into your Blocksroute account. Be sure your wallet is set to Ethereum mainnet to process this transaction. Now that we've created our Blocksroute account, whitelisted our addresses, added the Blocksroute RPC, and loaded funds into our account, we're ready to trade protected. When we go to Uniswap to perform a transaction, first, make sure that you're on the Blocksroute network. When performing a token swap inside Uniswap, it looks like a normal trade when we're switching Ethereum to USDT. When we look at the transaction in Etherscan, we can see that there was no pending activity. This is because the transaction was privately sent to miners without being exposed to the network. And it's easy to see side by side the difference between a standard transaction and a protected transaction. To get started, go to blocksroute.com protect.